What's going on everybody, this is Dilmer and welcome to my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on using a new tool for augmented reality, which is Vuforia. You guys have seen my videos with augmented reality, MRTK, you know, you name it. I've been doing a lot of testing with different frameworks. So in today's video, I want to show you everything that you need to know in order for you to get Vuforia up and going. So by the end of the video, you should have a Unity project ready to go with Vuforia. We're also going to be using my webcam to be able to use the tools that they have simulated in Unity, which are really, really powerful. I'm also going to go through pricing. We're gonna go through the Unity setup. We're going to go and actually add some of the examples that they provide in the asset store. So let's jump into my computer and start working on it. This is a project that I show you at the beginning of the video, and it's one of the examples that Unity provides in the asset store. So I'm gonna show you how to get it going and set it up so that you can test it and basically get started with Buforia. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to close out of it and create a brand new project so we can start from scratch. Okay, so we're gonna click on new in the Unity Hub. I'm gonna go into 3D. This is going to be Unity Buforia demo. I'm gonna put it in the code directory. Okay, so now that the project we created, we're going to have to import the Buforia packages. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my browser. I'm gonna go into developer.buforia.com. I'm gonna click on login. You're gonna have to create an account. I already have an account. Once you create an account, the first thing that you're gonna do is gonna go into downloads and they're gonna offer you multiple SDKs. I'm going to set it up for Unity and then if you want to do Android or iOS, I'm gonna do a video specifically for that. For now, let's just go ahead and get it up and running in Unity. You're gonna have to agree for the license. You'll say yes, I'll download the package. And then once you click on download, it's gonna tell you that it's going to import these files into Unity. I'm just going to go ahead and hit import. Then it's gonna ask you if you want to upgrade the Buforia engine package. I'm gonna say update. So it looks like that part already completed. Now we can go into the package manager and I want to show you what it actually installed. So we now should have a Buforia engine. I'm, I'm using the latest version, which is 9.8.5. It looks like it's coming from, from Git. So now that you have that, you shouldn't really need the main camera. We can just delete that camera. And it's similar to AR Foundation, they add their own camera. And if you right click here in the hierarchy, you're going to see that we have an AR camera, image target, multi-target, and then basically all the features that they provide with their SDK. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and add an AR camera, even though we're not gonna be adding a lot of things to this scene, I'm gonna show you how to set up the license. So once you do that, if you click on open before your engine configuration, it's going to give you a lot of settings that we can, that I can go through. I don't know them all, but I'm gonna show you the ones that I know as of today. So one of them that we're gonna need is going to be the license, right? If you don't have the license, and it doesn't mean that you need to pay for it right now, you can use the developer license, which will give you access to most of everything with some limitations. But you know, once you, once you buy the, the professional version or some of the other versions, you can put the license there. The other thing that you can also do that I found that was really, really cool is you can use a webcam. You can also use a simulator, which is basically going to use your environment in 3D to simulate everything. And then you can also use recording. I'm gonna leave it in webcam and we're gonna be adding a license. So let's go ahead and go back in here. So if you need to get a license, and I guess I can, I can go over pricing really quickly. And by no means, I am not a sponsor by Buforia. This is just me looking through it and under, trying to understand it. So they have four different price tiers. We have one which is pro, agency package, basic and cloud, which is 99 per month, and then basic, which is 42 per month. The one that we're gonna be using is developer. The only thing that you can't do with developer is you can't publish, but you get, you know, you get a lot of features that you can test with, with a lot of the features that you have in here. And of course, if you get the pro, you get it all. If you get, so very straightforward pricing model, just like, you know, every, every premium product. But today, what I'm excited about is trying the developer license, right? So all you really need to do is you need to go back into your portal, which is the one that we log in, developer, developer.buforia.com. Once you go there, you're gonna just click on get developing key. It's gonna give you a key. And then basically it's going to give you a big long number. It looks like a SSH key to me. And then you can just copy that. I think you can click it and it just copies it. And then once you do that, all you really need to do is just paste it in here. Once you do that, the license should be good to go. So I could run this and it should be okay. There, there's really not gonna be anything because I haven't, you know, I haven't really set everything up. That's funny, I have my camera, which is my webcam set up in, in, the, in the wall mount. So it's showing you, it's basically showing you my computer. So let me go ahead and stop that and then get the camera. Okay, so I changed the position of the camera. If I hit play, because I'm, I have the webcam selected under the settings, 
now you can see my face, right? There's really nothing that is happening because we haven't really done any coding. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And now what I want to show you is let's go ahead and import some of the examples that we can find in the asset store.unity.com. And I'm going to click on open in Unity. I already downloaded them. So all I need to, all I need to do is just click on import and it's going to import them into Unity. There's a lot of examples in there that I found helpful. It'll tell you that it'll overwrite my current project settings. That's fine. Install and upgrade. That's okay. We'll just do import. I think Unity has a lot of warnings about different things. I, I trust it at this level. I mean, I've been doing so many different projects that for the most part, if you do update, it'll just work. Okay, so now we can close all of these because everything imported. So what I'm going to show you is the structure of this. So if you go into, I believe it's going to be under sample resources. And then if you go into scenes, these are all the demos that they show you. You can go into splash and menu. I mean, they just have different examples for most of the features that they provide. The one that I want to show you, it's going to be the three ground plane. And this one is the one that I show you at the beginning of the video. And I'm actually going to show you that again. And I think I can do, we can just do that resolution. That's fine. The, the cool thing with this, again, if we go into, we can go into the air camera and then click on open before the engine configuration. This is really powerful. I mean, I come from an AR foundation, you know, background and I've been using other tools and, and they don't provide this functionality. So the webcam functionality is a, is a big deal for me because I can test everything in here. With AR foundation, I have to use a third party tool, which I have to buy and I, I actually got it for free because I'm doing the tutorials, but it's expensive, right? Like this comes with the with the licensing, with the packages that you're using from Vuforia. So I think that's that's a that's a huge benefit. So what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna show you what I have here. I I didn't I don't have a printer to be honest, so I don't really need to use I don't really use printers anymore. But what I have in here is basically this, right? So this is the oops, almost almost fall. So this is the image target that they're looking for. So if we were to move it around, you're going to see that it is located. So I decided to put it on my iPad and, and you can use, you know, a device to test that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move the camera. And this is one, what I ended up doing. I just, you know, I just send it to my iPad and that way I can test. I can place things. I can move them in here. I can delete all the, the place objects. I can add a different type of object. I can move my iPad around, I can move it up, and you're going to see that the target, it's, it's, it's changing in real time. So pretty impressed with the webcam tools. I, I am really excited about it. So that's basically how you set up a project to work with Buforia. The, I mean, the main things to know is the SDK, then you're going to need the license. Once you get the license, you basically just add it to your Buforia configuration. And then once you get that going, I mean, I, I looked at, I would say, look at some of the examples that they have. They have a lot more examples in here that I haven't really looked at. If you want to use, you know, like model targets, we can go here into model targets and we can just make the, and I haven't looked at these ones. This is the first time that I look at them, but these are some model targets that you can, you can use. I mean, model targets is a big deal because you, you basically are mapping to a real model and which is really cool. You can also use, there's also image targets. This is a demo that I, I saw a couple of years ago before I, I started working with, you know, with, with Unity and AR Foundation and, and HoloLens. It's funny because this brings me a lot of good memories. And then multi-targets, uh, object recognition. This is a really cool. This is really powerful as well because, I mean, if you're doing, let's say that you have a printer in your office and you want to show people how to use a printer, then you can use object recognition to, you know, to determine you know, that's the printer and then you can add things, you know, like an overlay showing you, you know, how to, how to fax, how to scan, you know, certain things like that. And, and then other, other examples in here. So I'm going to call it good guys. If you guys have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments and also make sure to watch the next video, which I'm going to be publishing very soon. I'm going to go through how to get this going and deploy to iOS. And then I'll do also one for Android. Unfortunately, my Android device, my kit lost it, so I'm going to have to get me a new one. But anyways, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel because that's going to help me in bringing you all of my videos. Thank you.